Talking a little Pacers and T-Wolves in the land of 10 or 1,000 or 100,000 lakes. Third quarter, second quarter rather, it's Monte Ellis. So disrespectful of lakes. I don't know how many lakes they have. 10,000, I don't man. think they've counted. Look at this play. A couple Dunn, extremes. Shabazz Muhammad. A couple big ponds. I mean, that's amazing. One's a puddle. Four T-Wolves involved in the play. That was a hell of a play. That's pretty good right there, Muhammad. Good lack of effort there. That's something that when you're a young team that's Whoa. struggling, you want to make sure you're getting the effort plays. Minnesota was getting them tonight. But they were going up against the feisty bunch in, uh, in their own right, the Pacers. Cat! Carl Anthony Towns later in the second with the up and under. Get around. It's a little guy move, Dave! Miles Turner. That's impressive. But as you mentioned, Pacers, they got a pretty good player of their own. PG-13. He was locked in tonight. Oof. 32 points. Just a hell of an effort staving off the feisty T-Wolves team who tried to come uh. back late in this game, but... A little too much Turner, a little, lot of too much Paul George Harris, you see 32 points. They don't cover, they lose at home, 109-103. Um, Indiana is, look, we always talk about Minnesota. I love to watch Minnesota play, and yet I, I'm still, it looked like they were kind of turning the corner, and then they have a setback tonight. What about Indiana? Is this just a two-man show when you look at Turner and PG-13? Is it, are they only collectively as good as those two guys can make them? I don't think so. I mean, there's, there's a nice collection of bench guys. Thad Young, I think, was a nice pickup. Montellis is there. Um, you know, Al Jefferson. Th th there's the right amount of guys. Or Jeff Teague. But, yeah, it's a superstar-driven league. Right. And, and I'm not ready to put Miles Turner in the superstar category yet, but he's well on his way, certainly ahead of schedule and probably ahead of whatever was expected of him at, at this juncture a year and a half into his career. Can do a little bit of everything. And Paul George, now that he's fully healthy mm -hmm. these past couple seasons, he's just one of the best players in the league. And when he's going to really feel like he was tonight uh, against Minnesota, who just really didn't have an answer defensively for PG-13, yeah, 32 points and, and put the team on the back kind of mentality. I, this Pacers team is a different team over the last month than they were yeah. out of the gates of this season. So, I don't know. I, I Look, they're not a championship team. Nah. They're not a team that can beat Cleveland in a seven-game series in the Eastern Conference playoffs. But anything else, I'm, I wouldn't be shocked. I mean, if, if you tell me they beat Toronto in a playoff series no, or you Boston, be stunned. No. I think they'd be underdogs, but I wouldn't be just mind-blown to see them win a series like that. Now, Cleveland? Yeah, that would be mind-blown. Yeah, th then, then you're going to have to put my mind back.